a nation of peace and security, a prosperous economy, a nation built on good governance, relying on qualified and competitive human resources. This is the goal of the Poverty Reduction Strategy Papers too. It's within this framework that Burundi seeks to create a favorable environment to sustainable development in pursuit of achieving the Millennium Development Goals and the 2025 vision. Inspired by the Millennium Development Goals and facilitated by an improvement of national security, the Poverty Reduction Strategy Papers 1 allowed for significant improvement, notably with regards to access to basic social services thanks to two reforms. Free access to primary education and free access to health care for pregnant women and children under five. A transparent political life, better representation of women, infrastructure rehabilitation and better financial management also constitute important achievement to be credited the PRSP-1. Despite these successes, economic growth reached the only 3.8% in 2010, falling far short of the 6.8% expected. A result of various and long consultations, the main challenge of the PRSP2 is to generate an accelerated growth favorable to creating employment, leading to a rapid and profound transformation of the Burundian economy. Thus, the PRSP2 targets an economic growth rate of 8.2% by 2015. Several major challenges merit highlighting. Unbridled population growth is leading to high demographic pressure on land and infrastructures. The long-term policy of the government is to reduce the demographic growth rate from 2.4% to 2% by 2025 in order to ensure food security of this growing population and to produce an intangible supply, it's essential to modernize vegetable and meat production systems and hence increase productivity of the rural areas where more than 19% of the country's poor reside. The challenge of little investment in the private sector is to be overcome if we are to ignite an accelerated economic growth of the Burundian economy and therefore generate wealth and employment. The weak level of investment in private sector must be overcome if Burundi is to ignite an accelerated economic growth and thereby generate wealth and employment. Top priority is given to increasing energy production and the promotion of other sustainable forms of energy. Furthermore, the development of transport infrastructures is essential to opening up rural areas and promoting the country's regional integration. In addition, these infrastructures will help reduce the technical obstacle to the exploitation of mineral resources, especially with regard to the nickel reserves estimated at some 260 million tonnes. A rational management of space and resources is recommended in order to protect environmental ecosystems. The long unexploited tourist potential will be put to value. The PRSP2 is a reference document which will allow the Burundi to build its future. In this framework, the government commits to strive for the accomplishment of its objectives with the help of all its stakeholders. To attain the objectives of the CCLP2, the government has the need of money, material and financial and the support of each actor and of each other to make a profound change in the orientation of this strategy of development.